Uh, wrong side. There we go. Hey there, guys. My name is Blake. Also known as the Nerd- You stopped! Why did you stop? Um, welcome back to another episode of Hatsune Miku Project Mirai DX. Last time, we did Hello, How Are You and Kokoro. That one robot actually did have her heart. And we also saw the intros to both Project Mirai 1 and Mirai 2. Okay, she's going to her treadmill. Um, I will actually spoil about a little thing that happened, but I did do a previous recording that I wasn't really comfortable with. I refuse to explain why. But, Miku, remember in the last episode she also bought the piano but never really used it in the last episode? Well, she decided to finally play the piano. Very luckily, I have recording of that before using this recording as hopefully the replacement one because things weren't so great with the recording and the, the song and whatnot, so... Here's, a, here's a, the piano right now and what she plays. choice of a song that they put especially for the vocalist to play. Thought it'd be like a little piano rendition of like some of their songs, but I guess not. I really guess not. But speaking of pianos, a song we're doing this episode actually involves piano, and that is Piano Girl. With the silhouette of <laughs> a really bad looking silhouette of <laughs> I don't think that's Beethoven. And Zerny who kind of looks like Mary C of C's Candy, and now I kind of want chocolate from there now, I don't know why. But, Piano Girl! This song is about a girl learning piano, and has a message for all of us to never give up on the things we love. Ah, and it makes it even better that it's from Oster Project. Oster Project has some really fantastic songs, I'm not gonna lie. And it's even Go! more fantastic that he actually did the theme for Miku Expo in Europe. With very simple dance moves that anyone can learn because of a Miku tutorial video up on the main channel, I think. I think it's still on there? Not too sure about that, but... It's there in case you want to check it out. I think if you search Miku Expo 2018 dance or something like that, you can look it up, or... I also have it like a description below, because I, the top right corner is usually for videos or uh, creators or uh, music the producers of the music, the music creators, and the playlist of the previous episode, the next episode, and whatnot. So, it might be in the description below if I remember to put it on there, or down there. Otherwise, it's the, I think it's a quick, simple, simple YouTube search. Anyways, button mode, four stars. I had difficulties trying to at least get past the beginning part. Please, please let this be the key to success. Does that mean please let this be key to more failures? I gotta put the pedal to the metal. Uh, hopefully those puns aren't the key to me, like, failing miserably. I feel that's what it is. It's the puns. A little early. Finally, that took me way too long in the previous recording. That time was just only one.
I almost lost my train of thought for a second there. But thank goodness I was able to get back on there really quickly. Otherwise, it would have been a pain, but... Nice to know it took only one attempt to get that whole beginning part down. Which is kind of insulting because it took me forever. Because I had to take like at least five and then stop because of some interruption I didn't need. Welcome to Blake the Nerd Channel. Interruptions happen everywhere. You just don't know about it. Not a safe! Shut up! Well, two SPs is not the end of the world, man. Like I mentioned before, I'm not going up to the SP, so I'm not too worried about that. That probably would have confused some people. <laughs> Towards the end there, that was just with their first time playing that song on normal difficulty. But very likely since I had that experience, it's not really a big issue. I mean, that's kind of what I expected after missing those two notes and getting three saves and one sad somewhere. Where'd I even miss that? I'm trying to think back. Did I actually miss a save somewhere? I I honestly don't know, really. But uh, I, I guess I'll let it go for now. <laughs> ah, but finally, why didn't that happen one recording ago? I bet I, I, I bet it was me who played the piano. That was the curse back then. <laughs> Let's play curse, man. You can't you can't get rid of it, no matter how hard no matter how hard you try. And my Let's Playing curse is just me messing up words all the time. If that's my Let's Play curse, then man, I've been cursed for a really long ass time. <laughs> but in terms of the song, it's actually really cute. I actually do like that. And of course, it is Oster Project, another one of my instant favorites. And it's always nice to hear an Oster Project song on here. But it's time for our usual segment of Project Mariah DX. But that mean time to talk about the differences in Project Mariah One. But that mean different PV. Who would have seen that coming? But the PD Mariah actually uses Oster Project's version of Miku. Basically, she has these cute little eyes, and it's kind of like Chibi Miku, only a bit more stylized. And once again, I think it has some animations to it, but it's mostly like... I think it's actually a lot more animated than some of the PVs we've seen beforehand, before this one, so... It's kind of interesting, kind of adorable. Again, really wish it was actually part of it on here. It's like an optional thing and whatnot, but it, it, again, it is pretty cute for what it is. So, take what you will, you're seeing it right now. If you have the Japanese version of Mirai 1 and Mirai 2, aka the only versions that have ever been released, I'm saying it as if it was like it was released in other countries, which of course it hasn't. Unless you bought it, unless you bought it from Japan for really expensive and you bought a Japanese for, for Japanese Nintendo 3DS because Nintendo 3DS is actually region locked like every other console before the Nintendo Switch. And uh, I guess the NES and SNES at some point, but other than that, most of them are region locked despite all this, and it costs you lots of money to get those anyways, probably hundreds upon thousands of dollars. Then you probably would have played this beforehand, so it wouldn't have known the PV differences. Otherwise, it's just available right on YouTube, or this series, in case you want to go back and watch a little bit of it. Oh, wee, that's a mouthful for one, for one song. How's about we go ahead and try out our other one, which I believe. Correctamundo, right on cue, Happy Synthesizer, which finally, finally, we get an introduction to Luca. We were, we were, we were introduced to Luca 
in the second song, with Sweet Magic, we were introduced to Lin and kind of Kaito if you beat the song a couple times. In embarrassment, hiding, Adelsense, finally pronounced that correctly, because remember the third episode I said Adelis scene, which I caught right off the bat and I corrected myself in the and the, the comments or in the description because it was supposed to be and I mentioned that it was like uh, really how did I mispronounce that but finally Luke got an introduction to Gumi someone we've never seen before an upbeat and un <laughs> I'm so unbeat upbeat and unhappy an upbeat and happy techno pop tune featuring the duo featuring a duo dance by Metal Chin and Miyume Are these secretly binary codes for Luca and Gumi? Because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. <laughs> and by a new person we've never seen before on the channel, Easy Hot. So this will be their first appearance ever on the channel. So props to them for doing that, or for being on here. I'm not really sure what I'm talking about. Let's, be, let's just play the song in normal mode before I lose my mind even more and just start rambling on for no apparent reason, like I always do. <laughs> <sighs> Thought for a moment there it was gonna throw me off for a loop again. I probably would have my first safe there, but thank goodness. So far I'm doing a lot better one time with this song than the piano song. I can't believe we're doing this well in one take of this song, then, and it took one other recording for Piano Girl. I'm disappointed in myself.
I'm calling bull crap on that. I am calling bull crap. That is not five stars. Or five rating. That felt like a four. And Piano Girl felt like a five. It's for how many times I had to go through that. <laughs> I mean, it feels good to be salty every once in a while because you get out your emotions and your thoughts and whatnot, but come on! How did it take me one attempt, one attempt, this one, to not only clear the song, but to get it perfect? And it took me one other recording to do Piano Girl. I don't understand. I... I... I honestly do not understand whatsoever how this game functions when it comes to... Ah, just thinking about it is making my head hurt. Ugh. I'm both happy in myself that I did that in one run, and also disappointed in myself that it took too many attempts at Piano Girl. I'm sorry, I'm not letting go of that one up until... Now. <laughs> but, happy synthesizer! Much like Piano Girl, yes, twice in a row, I am mentioning this, I think it's a new record, has a completely different PV in Mirai. And this one is actually animated. Kind of like an anime, so... It's actually a nice change of pace, especially if you're looking for animated stuff. And again, much like with Piano Girl and Amazu Kitsune, wish this was like a... Thing you can secretly unlock, or it, it was available to you, where you can choose between the 3D and the 2D. But it, it looks so nice, like, it's well animated, it looks cute. The, the, mo the outfit, speaking of, can I, the modules in this, this also look cute, and I kind of wish Luca had this in Future Tone as well. Alongside uh, Ren's Kokoro thing that I mentioned in the previous episode. Both of those really need to be in a Project Diva game, because honestly those both look really nice. But with the intro to Luca, we also have, finally, <laughs> Gumi's introduction to being in a song, not just outside delivering random items or giving you advice you already knew about. <laughs> about time. So, I think I might have to make another thumbnail, something from that. I'll have to remember from Happy Synthesizer and not Piano Girl. So that's the thing. Also, with that, since we have a perfect, or rather an S+, plus, we can finally listen, well, we can listen to that New Year's music once again. Let me do that real quick before I move on to what we're doing this episode as kind of our side thing alongside those two songs. Seriously, this sounds so familiar. Yeah, I can't put my tongue on why it sounds so familiar. But anyways, now that we're done with pretty much all everything on the menu here, well, minus Poyo Poyo and the profile cards, which again, I'll be going on at a much later point, so don't you worry. How about... Oh, what's this? Oh. More stuff. And you can actually watch the PB for Happy Synthesizer in this game?! Bro! I didn't know that! Hold on! Holy crap you can. Holy crap you can. <laughs> Remember how I said I wish there were some ways you could actually look at the video? <laughs> and I showed you a bit of it? Forgot! Surprise! You could actually take a look at it through the options! <laughs> I guess I must have skipped over a lot when I played through this my own personal time, but... How did I miss that? <laughs> how did I miss this? Like, here's a little sample of it. You guys might have seen it already, but it's so animated, it's so cute and whatnot! That's all I'm gonna give you, though. Because <laughs> I think we've already been through it already, but... My gosh. I forgot about that! I actually forgot about that! Holy cow! This game surprises me in every shape and corner, whether it's stuff I never knew about or stuff I actually forgot about. Or passed over through my personal playthrough... Three years ago. <laughs> That's nuts. But... Let's head out and go back to the rhythm game. 
Yeah, but I do have a good reason for this. No, not for us to play the song again. But because we've unlocked, well, we haven't unlocked, it's been available to us for quite a while, a theater. What does the theater do? This is the only thing we haven't really covered. I've been mostly doing tap mode and button mode. Oh gosh, I just realized Happy Synthesizer is eight stars. <laughs> On the hard difficulty, X to yikes. <laughs> X to yikes. But with the theater mode, you don't have to push any buttons. All you need to do is just sit back and relax and enjoy whatever song we pick on here. Um, you know what? I did mention Michi M, and it's fitting we have a song by Alpha Project who has the theme of, uh, who has the theme of Miku Expo 2018 in Europe, and Michi M has done a lot of themes for Mirai 2, and the, I think, believe all of the Miku symphonies? Unless they changed it up for 2018, unless they changed it up for 2018 and changed it up for 2019? Not too sure about that. In fact, I don't think they even announced like a CD release for Miku Symphony 2018 at the time of recording this, so I'm not entirely sure about that. But since we are here, we might as well go with a gay gay again, just because it it's such a great song. However, I'm gonna talk over it because there is quite a few things we can do here. First off, if we hit the D-pad, we can manage a couple things, which we can't really do right now. We can also send a text comment, we can also send a picto comment. We've already seen these before, we can jam along, you can also customize these in the other option menu. Remember how I forgot about that all this time ago? And now I remember that and whatnot? But the other ones you can do here is these two items on the bottom right, or the bottom right for you guys, on the bottom screen, is actually, before we get into those ones, there's also the things on the top. You can skip to previous segment, you can see there's four segments actually in this entire area. You can also fast forward to that specific area with the R button as well, uh, with again, 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 there's three, but it'll vary depending on what song you play. I think most of them are actually all three if I remember. So L will skip all the way back to the beginning, you can pause at any time. And actually, I'm gonna go to this segment right here and pause, because let's start making some comments. Of course, you press Y, you can turn the comments on or off, but let's add a comment of our own over here. Um, I won't show it off right now, but we'll get to that point. Okay, so you guys might already see the message on here, which is a good reminder that you should totally ring the bell if you're subscribed already so that you can, uh, so that way you don't get, so that way you don't miss out on any notifications that I make. But you can actually change the color if you'd like to, uh, to any of these colors right here. Unfortunately, you can't really change it to any other colors. So let's say, for instance, I want to make it green as a good reminder. You can also change the size of the font to small, medium, or large. I might as well make it large so that you guys get a nice reminder. You can position it so that way you can move, so it moves, is on the top or on the bottom, or customize directions. There it is right there. <laughs> Ring the bell! You can also move the cursor around so that you can do all kinds of fun stuff and whatnot. Not sure if you can make this animator or whatnot, but I imagine you can't with this one, so we'll put it there. And you can choose whether to have have it have a shadow on or whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add a shadow. And actually, if I can actually do it this way, you'll see how the comments work on this one. Er, wait. I guess I have to do it here, huh? This does not show up? Hmm. Oh. Okay, so I have to post it first. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and show off that comment real quick. <laughs> hey look, it's the song! Remind you to leave a comment and ring the bell and whatnot. But... It does, as you saw in there, it has a very similar comments to those found on Japanese live streams, where sometimes some people scroll around, especially if you were around Nico Nico videos at the time, or some of the Twitch YouTube live streams from Japan, mostly from Nico Nico. It has very similar comment styles to that, so it should be interesting. Now, with these, you can also save these comments and transfer it via Street Pass through a profile card, which. 
we're almost done talking about it, actually. We just need a couple more things, or actually one more thing, because this is actually part of it. We've already talked about the music, and then we pretty much have the profile parts to go over, and that'll be its own separate thing, don't you worry. Well, separate subject to talk about, not separate episode, because I don't think that would take an entire episode. You can also use Picto comments, which is just using emojis. <laughs> yeah, not really anything different from your cell phones. But as you can see, you kind of have different emojis. You got, they're all animated, kind of like the form, it, it, like form moving GIFs from like the 2000s and whatnot. So we got flowers, we got snow, we got seasonal item, we got seasonal ones, we got music notes, we got hand emojis. You can literally say you got them. <laughs> all you, all you crazy kids. You also got one based on Voyo Poyo, which is kind of interesting. Because, yeah, there's Poyo Poyo references, but there's, like, no Sonic ones on here. Also, we got all the Vocaloids, we got Lipstick, we got a Winking Snowman. <laughs> Why is there a Winking Snowman? Okay. Uh, we got a Disco Ball. Might as well put that in there. Well, let's just post a comment. And see where it goes. There's that tiny little Disco Ball just floating around. <laughs> like it was part of a planet or something. But we're gonna go ahead and pause it, because that's all this really does. And of course you can manage these ones. I'm not sure how you manage them. It's not let me manage them whatnot, but I, I guess it doesn't matter. But, that's all I really wanted to talk about. So that means we've technically completed everything in terms of the music studio, but of course we need to still go over all the songs. Sorry Michigan, but your time is up with the songs and whatnot. And it doesn't matter if you go back to the room and whatnot, it's just, a, again, just for a, for a fun thing. It doesn't really hinder your progress or whatnot. But you also do get a stamp in which you are in counter for doing that. So, at least if you're willing to 100%, you should definitely do that. But otherwise, it's just a little for fun thing in case you want to take a break from rhythm or for like for some reason your hands get tired from playing all those songs on hard or normal and just kind of want a nice way to breathe and listen to the music, you can always do that as well. It's Theater Mode is not just for making comments, it's also for you to relax and watch the video if you prefer to watch the video. But with that, that is everything for Theater Mode. Again, mine is a lot of songs we need to do. And really, Niku? You're doing so old, the treadmill, what happened? You decided to do this. You decided to do this. Uh, well, I guess some things just don't change. So, We've gone through Piano Girl, finally, after one recording, it went smoothly. And Happy Synthesizer, which of course, one attempt, and it goes perfectly fine. But we also took a look at Theater Mode, which finally a lot of people have been, suspense, have been pretty suspenseful about. So I'd say that's pretty, pretty good. But with that being said, join me next time, which maybe we smile and sing to more songs. Thoughts I will really say because I don't want to give out really too much. Yeah, even I found that one boring, Miku, don't worry. <laughs> but you know what's not boring? Check out the playlist down in the description below, I in the top right corner, or in the upcoming insight for any episodes you might have missed or want to see again, whether from the past or from the future. But with that being said, though, my name is Blake, also known as Nerd. <laughs> okay, I thought for a second there. Oh no, you're actually going towards the piano! <laughs>